channel and as of the date I'm recording this happy Halloween so I want to update you all on a little situation I discussed previously you may have seen my series of videos about this great new guitar the PRS SE Swamp Ash Special which came out I think it may have been three weeks ago today was when it was announced so basically it came out on a Tuesday by Wednesday Sweetwater only had two left in this finish I got the one I'd like the best thankfully and that my uh, aesthetics advisor suggested I get. And uh, so I ordered it, but lo and behold, the next day on Thursday, this and every other PRS SE, other than the DGT, which is still hard to find nine months after it was released, went on sale 20%. So I was not very happy about that. I knew it came from PRS because the first place I saw this was on the PRS official Facebook account, I believe, and all the major dealers are having these guitars and all the other SEs on sale 20% off, I think at least through Black Friday, though I'm not 100% sure on that time frame. So anyway, this I was unhappy about this because I'm sure we all, whether it be guitars or something else in life, have bought something right before it went on sale, and that's frustrating. But this was a little bit different. This wasn't like I bought it three days before Black Friday and should have known there was going to be a sale. It wasn't like this guitar had been out for a year and it just suddenly went on sale. It was almost like PRS intentionally planned to do this because they would have known that the first batch of this and the contemporaneously announced SECE and uh, Quilt Top uh, Custom 24 SE would have sold out their first batch. So it was like they thought, we'll sell out the first batch in a couple days at full price, then put them on sale for all the people who are going to order them on back order, which seemed like a very cynical move. Whether or not that was their intent, whether it just worked out that way, maybe there's two different arms of PRS that decided these things independently. I don't know, and I'm not going to you know, dislike PRS over this, but I was unhappy uh, because that timing just didn't that just seemed wrong, quite frankly, and not a, a good way to treat your most excited customers because they were essentially, whether it was their intent not or not, punishing the people who were most excited to order the new SE guitars as soon as they came out. So when Sweetwater, in their customary fashion, sent me an email wanting to know how I liked my new purchase, I told them the guitar was great, and I knew that PRS decided this and not them, but I was unhappy uh, for all the reasons that I stated. Well, today, I got an email from Sweetwater, and even though it's not their fault, they are refunding me $170 on this guitar to make it the sale price, which I thought was a wonderful move by them. They did not have to do that. It was not their decision uh, to time the sale like that. Phil McKnight talks about these types of things on his videos sometimes, and he knows infinitely more about it than me, but I know that the manufacturers, especially the major manufacturers like Bender and PRS and Gibson, have a say, if not the entire say, of when their items are discounted. So it wasn't Sweetwater's fault, but Sweetwater made it right. And I really appreciate that. And that is the kind of thing that encourages uh, regular purchasers like me to continue shopping at Sweetwater over perhaps other uh, dealers. So thank you, Matthew and Nate at Sweetwater. I'm now thrilled that I have this amazing guitar instead of at full retail price of $850 for the sale price of $680, which at that price is, is, is an unbelievable deal. So, uh, and some of you had commented on that as well uh, when I released the first video on the Friday of that week when I got this guitar in the mail. So I uh, wanted to update you all on that situation and let you know that I can't speak for all the other manufacturers. And obviously I can't guarantee if you were in the same position as me, that Sweetwater would do that for you, but they did for me and I really appreciate it. So uh, I will definitely, uh, next time I'm looking to make a major purchase, uh, Sweetwater will be 
one of the first, if not the first place I look. So, I thank you all for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And until next time, keep on rocking. <laughs>